the tiny state of Israel made history today. A privately funded spacecraft has been launched towards the moon. I have in my hand a scale model of the bear sheet spacecraft made by an Israeli company Space IL. This is a non-profit company and for the first time a privately funded spacecraft is on the way to the moon. Today using the Falcon 9 rocket of SpaceX, the bear sheet or the Genesis rocket spacecraft has been launched from Cape Canaveral in America. Sometime in April, this 580 kilogram spacecraft which says sending our flag to the moon and will carry the Israeli flag will be sent to land on the lunar surface. Till date, only Russia, America and China have soft landed on the moon. In 2008, India dropped its moon impact probe onto the lunar surface from Chandrayaan-1. It crash landed on the moon. If Israel soft lands on the moon with its 580 kilogram bear sheet or the Genesis spacecraft, Israel will become the fourth country in the world to soft land on the moon. India also wants to send another spacecraft to the moon. It is called Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-2 has an orbiter, a lander and a rover. And that is supposed to be launched in the next few weeks and months. So in a way, Israel and India have been racing to reach the moon to grab the fourth place of the country which soft lands on the moon. Today, it seems Israel has taken a lead. China already has another lunar rover on the moon surface, which is on the far side. It is a very interesting spacecraft and China also made history by landing on the dark side or the far side of the moon. But for a tiny state like Israel to have ambitions to launch a moon probe is very exciting. I was and remain one of the few people from India who have actually visited the offices of the Space IL. It was located in a basement in Jerusalem. From there to see Space IL now launch a spacecraft and head towards the moon is a great experience. Israel creating global history by launching a first privately funded spacecraft that heads to the moon. In New Delhi, Palav Bagla.